students in this session uh, will i will explain question sum number 1 and sum number 2 of question number 2 now you see what is the first sum 7x minus 42 so initially i gave you one knowledge on this type of sum that if you see plus and minus sign is there in between two terms or three terms then you have to obey some specific method okay so uh, initially for e each and every one might be it could look something critical but it's very very easy now the first thing that we will do is how many terms are there one and two isn't it so we'll try to write the irreducible form of all the terms on the right hand side of the sum that is 7x so 7x can be written as 7 into x isn't it and 42 could be written as 2 into 3 into 7 okay so what is a common factor so common factor is what common factor is 7 isn't it common factor is 7 so in this case we have to see what is the common factor that we can uh, write okay so this is the this is what we have to decide for each and every sum of question number 2 so common factor is 7 so we'll write 7 and we we'll put some bracket now if we take 7 from the first one what is remaining x so we'll write x because we have taken 7 as a common factor as because 7x can be divisible by 7 also and 42 can be also divisible by 7 also okay so when we take 7 as a common that is outside the bracket what will remain x now in this case if we take 7 as a common see carefully if we take 7 as a common what will remain 2 into 3 so 2 into 3 is what 6 so 6 will remain so this is your answer okay so let's try the next one slowly and gradually it will become very very easy students so nothing to worry about so 6q 6p and 12q now again we'll try to write the reducible form of each term to 6 p can be written as 2 into 3 into p isn't it and 12 q can be written as uh, 2 into 2 into 3 isn't it into q now what is a common term this is a common term this is a common term so common term means common factor means 2 and 3 also we can write how that is 2 into 3 that is 6 so 6 will be taken outside the bracket okay so now 6 will take will give some bracket now what if i take 6 from the bracket 6 if you divide 6 if you take 6 from here what will remain p isn't it what i am doing is that i am dividing 6p with 6 so 6 will be cancelled so p would be remaining now if you divide 12 with 6 what is the answer 12 divided by 6 what is the answer 2 okay 2q would be the answer understood how exactly i am doing so this is how you come to know that what will be the common factor that you will keep outside the bracket and then you will divide each term with this common factor that is 6p divided by 6 is 6 6 will be cancelled what will remain p then you give the minus sign then if you divide 12 with 6 what is the answer 2 q will remain inside of it so this is how you have to do question number 2 sum number 1 and 2 each and every sum of question number 2 need to be performed like this one. okay so for this session you do only sum number 1 and sum number 2 okay students thank you very much and god bless